Tunnel Jews. Johnny Salami. What's going on, brother? Johnny Salami. That's not, that's just the name of your podcast, but that's not actually your name, is it? That's not no, what you go by? What do you go by? That would be cool if it was my uh, generic name. What do you go by? <laughs> oh, yeah, you found, <laughs> you found that guy in New Jersey. Yeah. Do you look him up on, like, Facebook or something? I can't even remember, but I was just thinking about the name Johnny Salami. Yeah. So I Googled it, and then there was, like, some Italian WAP. Oh, that made me so sad, dude. Did you not know that? I didn't want to let you know I was upset, but I didn't know about that. Oh, you'd never heard? No, dude, I felt, felt like a hack, you know? No, you were doing it in a, almost like a post, post wop, like some sort of a, like a, a guinea irony yeah. thing. Even I wonder though, what that guy's like. Even though, like, what are you? You must be Irish as fuck, eh? I, I don't know. I haven't done the 23 that's, me thing. That's a German what do you think? mutt type of German I think I'm Irish. from like another dimension, dude. You know? <laughs> They're like Superman, but yeah. they're not. They're actually a shittier version. Yeah. They're like shit aliens. Yeah. <laughs> just have superpowers I don't know about. These are, you're just a big gi- a head that cannot I mean, be. Dude, I look like I walked out of a cave. Yeah, you, know? you do. Yeah, like, yeah, this is it. Yeah, you know, you got a strong head. So I'm, I'm scared to look at the. Uh, how does that even work? Do you you have to jack off into a cylinder, or is it just spit? No, they swab your ass. Really? They send the guy over. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Yes, bend over, folks. And then you go. I didn't even order that. Did you order? <laughs> he comes over every week, actually, yeah. and swabs my ass. Dude, yeah, they're gonna find something, man. You know that's how the priests used to diddle the. <laughs> the you know that's how the priests used to diddle the boys in Ireland. Really? They would. They would go. Uh, they would give them lashings, right? So this is what they would do. They'd bend them over. Yeah. Give them lashings, and then they would uh, go. All right, you're a bad boy. You got your lashings. Yeah. Now here's some Vaseline for your your <laughs> sore bum. Oh. And then while they're rubbing the Vaseline on, slip a finger in. Oh, yeah. But then it wasn't actually finger. Yeah. It's the You just didn't you didn't know. It was the magic. Well, I I wasn't there, but <laughs> it was the <laughs> That's how they used to they're crafty these yeah. priests. And then when did we start taking after them? Hmm? When did we start taking like uh notes? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it was just like it's like when you write a joke, find out that someone else already had it. <laughs> <laughs> this new bit is crushing. Bro. Yeah. You got priests within that for years. Yeah, they got all those documentaries and stuff. I'm too scared to watch though. Wow, you but know? the pedo priests. Yeah, just like the anal documentaries, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the anal chronicles. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they got their own category on Netflix. Yeah, each season's different. Like like Fargo. <laughs> season four is my favorite yeah the anal chronicles yeah hey that's not funny everyone getting your ass clapped open by a brother like a brother yeah you ever uh father by a father any uh anyone who's been uh, accused of that type of stuff have i met anyone that's been accused of pedophilia like when you were in school did you ever like uh find out later on that like uh i not not directly that i can remember no yeah my neighbor's a pedophile actually (laughs) I've talked about this before. Roger the Dodger. Oh, yeah. There's a guy called. <laughs> That's what they I, call him. I swear, growing up in Ireland is like a kid, like, like being in a comic book or something, you know? Like, yeah. it's like we got Roger the Dodger. Oh, we get, we had uh, Black Philip. Yeah. Black Adam. There was a guy called Black Adam. Yeah. He was black. And they uh, they made a movie about him afterwards. Oh, why? With The Rock. Is that a movie? Yeah. Black Adam? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh, The Rock. It just came out. It fucking sucks, dude. Did it? It's bullshit, man. I think it's for like kids though. Does it's he like, play Black Adam? Is yeah. he? He's a black guy in a white neighborhood. He is a black superhero dude, and he's just like blown. the Rock. Yeah, but that's just like Adam was barely black. Yeah, I don't. Wanna, I don't want to take away your black card, but yeah, if you're gonna <clears throat> if you're gonna cast a, it'd be like t- casting a tall guy in <laughs> in tall, you know, tall Seamus or whatever, and he, and he's six one, and you go, I guess. At least he was the OG though, you know. Who? Uh, My Adam. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what he's doing now. We had a guy who. Uh, he was a math teacher, and he got uh, he got arrested. He was circle jerking in a movie theater. Oh, and I was circle like, jerking. Yeah, exactly. I was like, dude, how do you make a circle in a movie theater? All in the aisle. Yeah. Or were they all? They just must kinda... have been artistic, dude, because I don't know how you do that. Yeah. But uh, just a couple of lads not watching the movie that would bug me. Go, oh, that's a good part, yeah. <laughs> F- fellas. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. just want to know what movie and how you make a circle, dude. The, the circle know? is crazy. Well, mate, you know what? It could be one of those places. You ever go to those like f- not fancy but weird cinemas? I'm not be panicking about the uh, these cameras the whole time. So just make sure. Oh, there you go, if, dude. If, if you make sure you see that little red dot just in the corner. Oh, like, I guess. If yeah. not, we're fucked. If not, we're. Fu- I'm not losing another app, dude. This is too yeah. good. We just did our guy in the 
circle jerk out of <laughs> son of a bit. Like, we can't repeat this is, that. This is fucking great A content, dude. Uh, well, look, I got rid of the producers, and I'm just doing this on my own, all right? Everyone, so go head off to Patreon. Help me help me follow my dreams. It's only $10 for the year, ten oh eight for the year. And we limited it to uh, 500 people, and there's like 20 spots left. So get over there, but I will be adding more spots. So that, forget about the 20 sp spots left, but I will be adding more. Yeah. Um, but this dude, uh, he yeah. was a teacher after he did it. So people found out, and then uh, that's all right. That's okay. There was a, there was a news article though, because everyone thought like uh, it was a lie, it was like a rumor, but they they wrote an article about it. Yeah, but he was like Pee, Pee Wee Herman and Pee Wee Herman Herman. He's a legend, dude. Pee Wee or the teacher? Both. Yes. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I would love to. Did you ever whack off with someone? Have I ever jerked off to someone? You were just like yeah, with the boys oh, on a like camping trip in, in person. Yeah, camper trip underneath oh, no, the fucking sleeping bags, something like that. No, <laughs> you never did nothing like that in front of my boys. Yeah, just with the fellas, I not can, like I not, not intentionally. You know. I you know not like yo. I tried, I tried spanking in my dorm room once. Yeah, but I, I tried doing the Doritos trick. What's that? You just take a bag of Doritos and you crumple it like you're eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh yeah oh i fucking love doritos yeah. yes you gotta jerk off at the same time though dude i yeah. couldn't pull it off man i just kept i just ended up eating the doritos oh you were too you got too hungry <laughs> I, I, surely though, you eat the dorito first and then, yeah, you yeah. Get you. just same hand i was like Fuck yeah it, dude. just got dust all over your cock <laughs> for sure i whacked off in summer camp in front of the boys really yeah I, I, there was like an irish speaking there's, there's certain parts of Ireland that still speak Irish, yeah. Gaelic, and yeah. they, they send you there for like a couple of weeks in the summer if, if you if you want to go, just yeah. to learn the language better. And uh, So you're out there, you're just blue balled, you're a teenager, you're like you know, mm -hmm. 15, 16, whatever it is, and I think two weeks, and uh, after a while I just like, fuck it, I just like, whacked it off underneath. <laughs> <laughs> what were you spanking too? Like, was there chicks out there? Or? No, there was none. There was literally, a, I think it was just a, a room full of boys, and <laughs> I was just like... Yeah, I'm fucking whack. And I just told them I'm whacking off. I don't care. What and do they say? I, I everyone thought I was joking. Really? Yeah, everyone thought it was what a joke. What happened when it, when it started happening? Were they just like, no one ever realized? I just oh, I, right. I, I fuck it. I and I and uh, were they were they retarded? No, but well, someone <laughs> and then someone goes, "You did not whack off." And then I had a stain on the bed, and I just oh. the stain. And then he goes, "That looks so real. I don't trust you." Though. Damn. <laughs> I didn't. Oh. I then. Oh, another time I whacked off when I, I was in Thailand. In we stayed in like a barn. We went hiking. It was like a two day hike. You got who you with? Uh, a few of my friends, <laughs> <laughs> just the fellas, just the boys. Dude. You know the. Do you ever go? Yeah. Do you ever go to Thailand for a hike real quick? Yeah, I'll, I'll get a little chubbed up out there. Yeah, I went full on. Like, I couldn't sleep, so we're sleeping on these beds, and they're like you know six inches off the ground. They're not even beds. They're just like they're like the stretchers that they pick you up <laughs> and yeah. get you off the football field. Yeah, I can't sleep without without jerking off. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's yeah. like uh, I'll just be up all night. Yeah, gotta, you know. So yeah, it's not like, hey, look, it's not sexual. It's a, it's yeah. a necessity. It's not. It's the worst in college. I mean, when I was in college, I'd have to jerk off in the stalls, and there would always be a dude like taking a shit next to me. In the stalls? <laughs> oh, you'd have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and like my roommate knew what I was doing too. Ah, whacking know? off in the bathroom. Yeah, it smells like shit. Oh, uh, one time I tried it in the shower, dude, and uh, in I college? went to like a, I went to a shitty college, dude. Yeah, oh yeah. And sometimes, like, really, people would sneak. <laughs> I thought you didn't, you know, I went to Ivy League. <laughs> <laughs> went to Brown. <laughs> no, dude, I went to DeVry, bro. Oh, uh, cool. DeVry. <laughs> I got it tattered on my back, dude. <laughs> your, your parents paid you in there? There was, there was like a scandal? I got a scholarship, dude. There was a, yeah, there was a, well, for what? What were you? Special water need, boy? Special needs, dude. Spe special needs? Yeah. Nice. Good stuff. But I remember I tried doing it in the shower once, and uh, this dude snuck in the school to uh to meet his girlfriend and uh they started banging in the shower right next to jackpot. me dude. i was like let's go <laughs> jackpot dude <laughs> like, yeah man yeah like, mother nature dude. yeah dude, and this is a bad one and no one people are going to turn off the pod once they hear this one <laughs> <laughs> this is this is when you see what because i always talk about how there's no women listen to the pod and then you'll get some fucking you know lesbian will dm you i actually listen to all the pods oh yeah you know yeah because her husband doesn't finger anymore or whatever so she listens to men I don't know why. It's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, but this I was so uh, I was in Ibiza, <laughs> Ibiza, whatever you want to say it. Oh, okay. With, with, with me mate, and we, you do. It's so expensive. You go clubbing every night. We mm -hmm. we st we live there for the summer pretty much, yeah. or at least like five weeks. And uh, we we uh, you go clubbing, and uh, it's so expensive. The drinks are like twenty dollars a drink or something. Yeah. You know, maybe I don't know what the equivalent would be. Probably like imagine going to. 
uh, like thirty five dollars a drink for like a beer or just like yeah a any drink pretty yeah. much even waters are expensive right yeah. so what your your only way to enjoy the night would be to do a lot of ecstasy yeah. now the good ecstasy was always like seven euros a pill the shit ones were two euros so you'd buy ten of the shit ones and you just take them all and but it was like mostly speed and you would have the worst come downs of all time yeah we had come downs where we literally just. Uh, sat in the bed in darkness. The two of us sharing a room in Spain, <laughs> darkness for t- like a day or two. We wouldn't leave the bed. We were yeah. just contemplating. And there was one time, I was like literally. I swear I was like contemplating suicide. I, I felt so bad, and I genuinely was gonna at that moment thinking I was like, I think I'm gonna kill myself. Like yeah. that's how sad I got because of the chemical yeah. imbalance. And I said, fuck it, I'll go. <laughs> My friends in bed beside me, so I said, fuck it. Maybe a wank will cheer me up, right? <laughs> so I went into the bathroom. And where we were staying in, in that hotel or the apartments, the walls were like really thin. So you could hear the people in the other room, room or whatever. <laughs> so I went into the bathroom and you could hear into the other bathroom. And I'm like whacking off and I couldn't. And my cock's all shriveled up from the drugs and I couldn't get any life in there. And I was yeah. shaking. And then I heard, the, I heard there was a bunch of girls from Scotland who lived in next door. And I yeah. heard one of them walk into the bathroom. And I heard the, like, the toilet go up or whatever. And I was like, oh. And then I hear, you know, she's obviously been partying the night before. She goes, and then I was like, and I was like, oh, she's, she's joking, isn't she? And then, and then I got a little life in the, I got a little life in the boy. Got a little life in the boy. Next thing you know, he's like fucking, he's feeling good. And now I'm fucking, I'm ripping it. And she's there. <laughs> <laughs> she was puking, dude. And I was pretending she was choking on my dick. And I, and I, I swear to God, I came to the flush. She was, ah! Oh my God. Dude. Yeah. So I was literally like probably yeah. three feet from this girl puking. Oh. <laughs> I could hear her. Damn. And uh, yeah, I whacked off. And I was like, you know what? And I wasn't suicidal after that. Legend, I do remember going, <laughs> fucking, sometimes God. You never forget, man. Sometimes God talks you down from the fucking. <laughs> yeah. Run it, run it back, dude. <laughs> Tell everybody um, about you. <laughs> what do you got to plug you got shit to plug you got your podcast check out my podcast uh johnny salami podcast shout out shout not out. to be mistaken not, OG, but not to be mistaken with you know, uh hopefully i can get his permission to take after him dude yeah that's it man i've just been spanking dude trying to figure out how to answer what you just asked me you know smacking what's smacking spanking spanking oh you, you have no idea what i've been talking about when i said that just now spanking was we were talking about jerking off yeah yeah okay yeah yeah, 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 yeah. i I was gonna start crying dude i would have been been so upset man (laughs) yeah dude i keep doing these podcasts and people are like so what's been going on and i just think about what like what's actually been going on yeah yeah the other day i had a flat but it wasn't a flat Mm. just (laughs) yeah that type of shit okay you on the road what you doing chasing tits dude you know playing xbox of course all my boys all my boys are whipped you know so i'm trying to figure all the boys are fucking you're looking for love I'm not looking for it, but all the boys are whipped, so I got to figure something out, you know? Pussy whip? I just yeah. feel like a pussy, dude. Just you know? a doggy look. I feel like I'm going to end up like one of those dudes who's like, uh, in a few years, man, I'm going to get caught like finger banging like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. I know. Yeah. We yeah, we all get that feeling. That's, I'm just going to be one of those dudes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and so you've never you've never had an Ancestry.com, but are you a little bit tired yeah. A little I bit might, something. I might be. If I am, it's Wait, you were like it's air deprived when you were born or something. What happened? If I am, it's Down syndrome. It's not autism. It's, it's, it's not. I yeah. took the autism test and I passed. Okay, Flying you passed. They say passed. I was on the edge. There's like a. There's I love that you say it. you failed. You were autistic. <laughs> Sorry, you're a failure. <laughs> yeah, dude. I wanted. Yeah. I wanted it to be confirmed. Like I was autistic. Cause it would all make sense. But yeah, you got a little bit of sin. A little, little yeah. bit of a little bit of something going on. Yeah, when I was younger, my. Uh, my dad, for a living, he would take care of uh, retarded adults. He'd bring them over the house and stuff. So that's where you learned to get. So that's where you, I, you I learned. Got, got your outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Those are my brothers, dude. Oh so yeah, yeah. They taught yeah. me the way. Did they? <laughs> how did they? How did that change the shape of your head? <laughs> how did you? How did that happen? Just a baseball bat, dude. <laughs> I think your dad slept, slept with one of the fucking students. That's what happened. <laughs> I don't even, dude, I think I honestly just came maybe out one of the students fucked your mad. That's what happened. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Something like that. No, I'll, I'll do it, man. You know, I just don't feel like spending money for the, you to know. find out if you're tired. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to find out. That. That's like a new age bullshit. Being yeah. diagnosed with whatever's going on. It just on. shows like uh, your ancestors. It show like they didn't have Facebook back then. It's so. not a. Th- by the way, it's it's not a real thing. Kind of, the ancestry dot com. It's it's a. It doesn't make. It's not a real. People think it's like a. It's not a real thing, <laughs> if that even. It's. 
just whatever DNA you've inherited from a certain time in history. Yeah. So if you go back long enough, we're all, it doesn't take actually that long. It's about a thousand years ago, we're all related to the same human. Yeah, Helen Keller, dude. <laughs> 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 Maybe your side. I don't know about that. It might, it might have missed me. Well, but if you go back, no, no, because everyone has two pa- parents. They have two parents, and I go back. After a while, there's only so many humans that could have been alive. It's only mm-hmm. a thousand years, so yeah. you definitely have some sort of cross DNA in there. So we're all kind of related, and whatever. It all just depends. Even twin sisters and stuff, they'll have. You're like twenty percent French, and you're only ten percent French because they because that one has more of the French genes. It doesn't tell you your actual family. Yeah. People think of it as a family tree. But it's not. It's just about. It's like if your dad is tall, but your mother's small, and you're tall. It just means you got more of his genes, but you're still fifty fifty of those people. Yeah, I want to go way. I don't care about like uh, hundreds of years ago. I want to go way back, dude. To just fucking monkeys. Greek mythology, dude. Oh uh, yeah. I evolved from like uh, like a snake, dude, with like six dicks or something. <laughs> <That'd be laughs> Is that what you think's gonna come? <laughs> yeah. Fucking Pegasus, I guess. Yeah. dude. I got twenty percent Pegasus. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. It's created from a Zygius. Imagine that, dude. Not bad. I don't believe in that shit. I'm the Celtic. We got the I'm Fionn McCool. Shout out to Fionn McCool. <clears throat> Wait, what do you believe in? Our Lord and Savior? Of course. You tatted it up. He's first up there. He's first up there. <laughs> then, then it goes first God. <laughs> yeah. Then it goes uh, Irish gods. How does that work? It's just a lot of mumbo jumbo fucking stories about giants throwing rocks at people and shit like that. No homo, but like, do you? Uh... <laughs> All right. You like actually uh, believe in Christianity? Like uh, at the end of the day, hey, uh, I guess. Like, do I think? Do like they you, think? They, do I think take they, like they, a they, multiple choice? Test? Do I think Moses was four hundred years old and he parted the sea? Yeah. I, I don't know. I think he had to be there. Yeah. I think it was a. I think you know. I think it's been Chinese whispers, or what do you call it? Telephone. Yeah, we call it Chinese whispers in Ireland, <laughs> <laughs> which is so much better. <laughs> Ireland has a lot of like, like you know, uh, semi. I don't know, maybe just full on racist things that you don't even know are racist yeah. until you're la- later on. You know, you just find out after the fact. Yeah, it's like the way Guineas used to call fucking chocolate almonds N word toes. Did you ever really? hear that? Yeah, wow, it's a lot of a lot of oh. Guineas. You should know it's Johnny Salami. You should you should know yourself yeah. some N word toes. Yeah, the whole Johnny Salami thing came from, uh, I was blasted at a bar one night, and I just ran up to a group of uh, sorority chicks. I was, yeah, I was, of course gone. You I was gone, dude. I didn't nice. know where I was. You just had the, had the fucking Never fools. have I ever mentioned the name Johnny Salami before. You had the fog on you, and you just went straight in. I, fucking, I was wobbling, dude. Yes. And I, I was like, yo, they call me Johnny Salami, baby. <laughs> <laughs> these were like the hottest chicks i'd ever seen in my nice. life nice and uh yeah they started like throwing shit at me dude like, like in a good way or nah, no nah, it, was oh. it was bad it was bad it, <laughs> it was in front of the whole bar <laughs> oh i didn't know like well you're so funny johnny yeah. sometimes chicks like a fucking dickhead you know yeah i was i've never been that gone in my life <laughs> you ever just wake up in like a bush somewhere and you're like dude yeah <laughs> loads of times yeah how many times i've woken up not in my bed a lot a lot not as bad anymore now that I got my girlfriend and like a GPS tracker on oh, me, so, shit, so she, tracker on you, yeah, dude. she'll come find me in a park. <laughs> she, <laughs> she did find me in a park not too long ago. With like, a flamethrower. Embarrassingly, <laughs> about in, in the last two years, she had to come find me some at one point oh, in the city. I got so wasted that I just, I don't know. She just she she said she was on the phone to me and she's like, I need to go pick this guy up because she knew. She's like, he's not going to be able to get himself home. And yeah. she just found me in Union Square, <laughs> covered oh, in man. puke. Just. Oh. <laughs> what do you do when you get to that level? You just go on journeys by yourself. No idea. You, you always get home safe. That's the problem with these fucking chicks. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm here, haven't I? I got, I got, I got, I got all my limbs. Got most of my brain. Yeah, I, I went through a phase where I would just, uh, <clears throat> I drink like once a month now. But I ended up getting uh, a few years ago. I ended up my Asian friend. We were at a frat party, bragging, and this uh, <laughs> this chick just came up to him and started like making out with him. Nice. And I started getting sad. You know, I'm looking for like fatties and stuff. And I just left the part. Like, I left him. I walked out. Yeah. Like, wasted. And okay. uh, <clears throat> I just kept walking. I was walking through people's yards, dude. <laughs> you didn't even turn. This was you, over. Did, you were just like straight. I'm going straight. Yeah, I'm just like, walking <laughs> in like Forrest Gump. Like, I'm not going to stop. Dude. I think Forrest Gump at least went around. The you went through like like a run up. Like, yeah, like no a roads, snowmobile dude. or something running yeah. over that felt like going through shit. <laughs> yeah, you were just going through people's houses like an elephant. Yeah. But, dude, I ended up. Uh, this was by the uh, the ocean. Next thing you know, I'm, I'm walking by the ocean. 
I don't know where I am. My phone's dead, and the storm came, so it starts pouring. Yeah. Thunder and lightning, dude. I'm getting soaked. I have no phone. And were you pissed off that he was making out with that Asian chick? Oh, uh, I wasn't pissed. I was just like, damn, Left dude. out? I didn't want to get in his way, and just I also melancholy. I wanted it for myself, dude. You of know, course, yeah. I wanted a fatty to come up after that, and, you know. Yeah, you weren't envious, but you were certainly <clears throat> jealous. You jealous were like, I want to be sure, part yeah. of the crew. Yeah, yeah I was FOMO. super jealous, major man. FOMO. Yeah, they were sucking face, dude, and I was just like, damn, man. FOMO was her name, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because she was but, Asian, uh, everyone. But dude, I ended up. Uh, I found a Cumberland Farms, <clears throat> and I walked in blasted, and I was like, "Yo, call the cops." <laughs> this lady was like, "What the what fuck? happened?" <laughs> I walked in, and I was like, "Hey, call the cops." And she was like, why? <laughs> don't ask questions, woman. Yeah. I was like, listen, I my phone's dead. I don't know where I am. Just call the cops. I'll take it from here. <laughs> she calls the cops and the cops show up. And I just started having a heart to heart with this guy. I was like, listen, man, I don't even know where the fuck I am. Like, uh, he ended up driving me home. My friend, yo, he pulls this hottie. I just, I'm looking for a fat chick. He's going to even get fat chick. So I told I just, him the whole story. And he's like, like, bro. I'll get in. <laughs> then he goes for a ride home. Yeah, he was like, get in, man. I'll, I'll bring you home. We've been there, brother. You yeah. did the right thing calling us. You just got to have a heart to heart. Yeah, you just go. We, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we got Aaron Robbery. He just turns it off. No, it's more important. Yeah, he was one. Oh, dude, I wish I got his name, man. You yeah, know. he's out there. He's, he's out one there. Of, he's one of the boys for sure. Nah, he lost his badge at this point. <laughs> you know, that guy had some sort of... Some yeah. sort of cam footage that, that, that lost his... Yeah. <laughs> he got suspended for he a while. He finds out. It's fucking it. Derek Chauvin. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, nice guy to me. <laughs> How great would that be? If you been the only good encounter you've ever had yeah. with a, a cop. See him on the news. I'm like, wait, I know that guy. <laughs> fucking DC. <laughs> <laughs> he, t- he was there when I needed him. Oh, yeah. He was there when I, I needed him. show up at the town council meeting, dude, tell yeah. him my story. Just one time. All right. So a friend of mine, he's Asian. Okay, it's important. That's important to the story. Yeah. Uh, uh, nice. Everybody, put it on Patreon. Come see me on the road. All right. I'm gonna be in Indianapolis this month in January 18th, 19th or something. Down be in Poughkeepsie. Gonna be in Connecticut. You do you have any road dates? No. All right. Do you want to open for me in Connecticut? <coughs> Hell yeah, it's my hood, dude. No, I'm just kidding. It's not my from, hood. But where are you from? Rhode Island. Die. Well, it, maybe if it, if it works out, we'll, we'll have uh, Johnny <clears throat> Salami here on the shows in Connecticut. They are going to be a bad. Um, oh, and then also just announced St. Patrick's Day at the Mothership. Column Terrell presents St. Patrick's Day. Oh, me wow. and the boys, all the squad, the dogs are coming out. Um, it's gonna sell out so uh, tickets are on sale right now St. Patrick's Day March 17th there's a 6pm show that's gonna sell out we're most likely adding a second show um, it's me would be in that group that we can't say yet and then also some special guesties so St. Patrick's Day Austin can't be that. Oh, and, and before that, I'm in Chicago for the first three days. So come celebrate St. Patrick's Day for the weekend in Chicago. Then on Sunday, March 17th, the mothership in Austin. A little man called Joe Rogan. Did you ever hear of him? <clears throat> no. Nah, you wouldn't. He's, he's, he's fucking intellectual stuff. <clears throat> you got to be am for that, though. Uh, sh- yeah. Uh, nothing gives me happiness after a while. Yeah, that's the thing about getting things. You're like, yeah. oh, give me that, give me that. And then you get it and you go, ugh. Wasn't what you thought it was. I need more. Yeah, it's like we, someday, that's what you'll say about fingering that rotisserie chicken. I don't Fuck. know, dude. I just want. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare. Yeah. Don't <laughs> you put that hate on me. You walk in, fucking Dave Caggiano's fucking your rotisserie chicken. <laughs> get off her, you he'll, pig. He'll be there at some point. He'll be fucking the chicken. The two yeah. of you is just Eiffel Tower. And he'll be making out with it. Yeah, I think it... Who here has fucked a, a chicken? Let me let us know right in the comments. If you want to get your questions read on the Patreon on the podcast, head off to patreon.com slash column Tyrrell. Join the fucking Union 1008. 1008 for the year. That's a steal. That's less than like that's like 20 cents an extra episode. You get an extra episode every week. Um, and there's all the back catalog and all that type of shit. I wanted to talk about those tunnel Jews. Did you hear about the tunnel Jews? Yeah, you texted me that. No, I didn't hear you about didn't it. You didn't even hear about that? Yeah. yeah so what, what did I, I said, I hope you know about tunnel Jews. And then you replied, is that a sex act? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or is that gay porn? Or is, it, is it a porno? A porno. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So, Johnny, what is your real name? I just call you Johnny Salami. I think you just need to change it to Johnny Salami. You just call me Johnny, dude. It's cool. No, Johnny Salami is what I'm sticking with. 
You call me salami? I, I can said, see you doing that. You got to say something that matches like your uh, your look, you know. If you called me John, I would be so freaked out. Jay? Yeah. Joe, Jay, John, Jay Johnny, Dog, Johnny, 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 Johnny Salami. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, well, let's go fuck up that guy. He's just, he's just out there in New Brunswick. New just some Jersey. fucking, <laughs> just some guinea idiot. Yeah. Just, oh! Or he could be a legend, dude. He Might could be, be. finger banging chickens right now, dude. I thought there was, a, uh, there was some sort of uh, guinea guy like that. A guinea guy. I did a show with out in the asshole of Brooklyn somewhere. It was like yeah. one of these Hibernian associations. You know, these old Celtic groups. There's all these weird little groups of old men get together and they're like, they're all like clapping. And they're to actually it. like laundering money though. I don't know what they're doing. They're just, they're just sad. I don't know. Any they, group at a certain point. They like, start doing sketchy just like, shit. Yeah. So we're out there, and then I, I did the show, and next, you know, they brought out this headliner. I can't remember his name. I must dig it up. But his name was like Vinny something. And he was like this old idiot. He had a little flat cap, and he was from Coney Island, and he fucking crushed, bro. Yeah. I don't think he, I, it doesn't make sense because he doesn't do stand up, and he crushed, and he, all his jokes are great. He, I don't know if he's been doing the same material for 40 years or if he like doesn't, didn't write any of the jokes. They could have just been someone else's, like old yeah. school. It could be Jay Leno's act, for all I know. There's a lot of dudes out there like that who have the same, like, hour that yeah. they've been doing. For... But it's the end of the day. Black people still be late. So <laughs> it's, 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 it didn't yeah, age. Whatever works. Yeah. Know? I liked seeing that when, uh, when Hillary Clinton started, suddenly got in the news again during, like, 2015 when she started running for president. Uh -huh. And you had all these older guys with these Clinton jokes. And you're like, that's a pretty good joke. And you go, and then you realize, oh, this was a Bill Clinton joke. That he's now recycling 10 years later, 12 years later, because like, she's back! They're back! Yeah. Nice. You, That's why uh, you need a second act. Did you check out the list at all? What list? Oh, Epstein's list? Yeah. Well, we'll get to that. We'll get to the list. Oh, right, we're, we're, we're talking about Tunnel Jews here. Oh, yeah. Tunnel Jews. It's just, all correlated. Just when you knew they... Just when they... <laughs> I always had a fucking feeling. Well, so, so what happened was, is, do you remember during COVID, the Jews... First of all, the, these Jews are turbo Jews, high octane. They're, they're as Jewish as they can get. Like Orthodox? They're Orthodox or Hasidic. I never know which is which. Mm -hmm. But if you ever go to Williamsburg, they don't follow the rules of society. They don't follow. They're first, they, they wear weird clothes, right? Yeah. Fair enough. This isn't anti-Semitic, by the way. This is just anti <clears throat> that type of Jew. Yeah. So that's like saying you don't like fucking Asian rapists, and then they say, "Well, that you're you're being anti-Asian." You go, "No, just that. That's just that particular just that group. branch. Just that branch of the yeah. tree." Just that branch of the rotten Full tree. Disclosure. Let's just start with this branch, and then we'll talk about the rest of the tree. <laughs> like the real Hitler type of it. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to... Burn the whole thing down! The roots need to be up... Yes. I'm Jewish now. I'm just kidding. I'm not Jewish. You fucking better not be. Get the yeah. fuck off of it. Holy water. Um, <laughs> so during COVID, yeah, they, they all kept meeting up and doing weddings and stuff. So there was like... There was like... At one point, the cops... But this was when COVID was... Everyone was supposed to be locked up. Yeah. But the Jew, the Jews don't follow the law of like the like the regular law that we follow. They don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. The amount of traffic jams I've been over in Williamsburg driving trucks because they'll just park they'll just double park in the middle of a crossroad. They'll just park a truck right in the middle of the road and then just get out and leave the car and go fuck it. I don't care. They're not they're not moving. They're, they're just... not moving. They don't give a fuck. They don't they don't follow the lights. They don't they don't they'll cut you off. They don't give a fuck. And, and you they, know by their look. Um, if by that because they're Jewish, or you just make you're just assuming they're Jewish. Anytime I've ever, anytime <laughs> someone like freight checks me around, yeah. I'm like, are you Jew guy? Yeah, <laughs> look at that nose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, it would be crazy if you go, you Jewish fuck, and then the guy has curls and stuff. Like that. I'm, like, I'm not Jewish. <laughs> He's like, I just like the look. I look. <laughs> but they, uh, how do they dress? Though? Like, what are they looking like? You've never been over, so they got no. the curls. They got the curls coming oh, down. Oh, okay. They got hats, different types of hats. They got long black. Uh, Black coat, like Sherlock Holmes type shit. Yeah, I would say more like Neo, nearly like an old school seventeen hundreds Neo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, that's not a religious thing either. The, the the Jews, you think it's like, oh, God said to dress like this. They just decided we got it. Fashion keeps changing. It will keep changing for the rest of life. So let's just. This is as far as we'll go. So everyone was dressed like that at a certain point. Yeah. And then they just they're not allowed. Where they're running around, they're scurrying around. They're always busy. They're always in a hurry. Men are running around. The women look like they're from the 1700s. They're all these long dresses. And they're, they're playing with weird... The kids play with weird toys, too. Like, they're playing with, like, you know, like a, a ring and a stick. <laughs> like, well, dude, the Jews have always been deprived of uh, good toys, man. 
Oh yeah. <clears throat> just speaking from experience, man. Like. Oh yeah. We used to have this thing uh, when I was growing up called Beyblades, dude. Oh yeah, no, we fucking rip yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, no, no Jew would ever use that, dude. They, we, My best friend was Jewish. He would not he use. Wouldn't it touch it because of dreidels. He, oh. he was like, oh, that's offensive, dude. Like, to spin shit. He was jealous, kind of like I was jealous of my Asian friend, dude. He was just like, I'm not using that. Like, I'm going to use my fucking dreidel. And he's out there. And like, we're out there shredding it, dude. Oh, there's a fucking movie for you. Yeah. Beyblade tournament. One guy, they all have this, like, they're all souped up cars. And he yeah. goes, and his dad's like, you don't need it. Jabadiah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jabadiah, you do not need it. And he just comes up and he's just Jew, Jewing the fuck out of it. It's like the karate kid of Beyblades, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's fucking sick. He's just we gotta pitch cr that, crushing dude. this tournament, <laughs> and he's like, "How do how you be dozen?" <laughs> you know? Yeah. And he goes over there, and he's just like, "Yeah, real karate kid of Beyblades." I exactly. would pitch that, dude. I, I like it. I'd sit on on, and on that. That's not bad. Yeah. He, but he's it's just all technique. It's just years of fucking jails. Yeah. Just forearm curls. <laughs> he just. <laughs> you do you think you are? Um. So they're they're looking like uh. Kind of like sounds like they're Amish, dude. They are very similar to Amish. Yeah, they have flip phones. They're not allowed to have that because there's a weird thing with technology where they're like they can do stuff to a certain degree, but they can't embrace it completely. So they're allowed flip phones so mm -hmm. that they can because it helps them do things, but they're not allowed to have smartphones. Yeah, I always wonder what those uh what those groups are doing behind the scenes though. You know, the Amish they got to be up to something. The Amish is just for show. That's like when you go to fucking... There's got to be a perk, though. That's like, like when you go to medieval times, and they're like, here, here, yes! And everyone goes, oh, turkey leg! And then as soon as you turn around, they're like fucking normal. That's what the Amish are. Like, the Amish walk inside, and then they fucking watch TV. They're in a... Really? Yeah, the Amish. Are, that's a that's just like a fucking fake village when you Shit, go to... Man. They see, and they go, oh, churning butter, churning butter. Hey. Yeah. All their money is tourism, the Amish. Most yeah. of that money comes from tourism, from people just going, yo, let me have a look at these fucking freaks. They just, load, yeah, they load them up I on buses. I think the Amish are onto something. Yeah, they, lo they literally load them up on buses and they drop them off. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Bro, when I was, uh... what are you talking? You talking about like when they do, like in Cape Cod, they give it to fucking the migrants. They just the, don't the them? old people. No, but dude, literally, I remember multiple times when I was younger, my best friend was Jewish. All right. All right. Look at Ca you. Casual Jew, dude. Yeah, just a regular, and, uh, normal. We would go to this college that his dad worked at. And every time we went, like once a year, <clears throat> like, dude, I swear to God, like 20 buses, not short buses, like full size buses filled with Amish people would show up and they just get out. What would they do? People in the parking lot would be waiting. They'd be like, oh, shit. It's, the, it's a drop off. Yeah. <laughs> the Amish drop off. <laughs> They're on bus. Are they allowed to ride buses? I guess. They've got a uh, a year off. They get a year off. I think it's called Rome Springer. Mm. I could be getting the yeah, Rome Springer. I think it's Rome Springer. I I could be getting the cultures mixed up, but they're allowed. You raise a momish, and then you go. Okay, you're 18 now. Go hang out with the fucking normos. Yeah. See what's up. Do some coke. Play with an Xbox. Come back though, and then most of them come back. I didn't even know that's what that was. I've seen like a few like uh, retarded lesbians at Mike's talk about that. And I'm just like, they're like, I'm on Ron Springer. Uh, they no. talk, they make jokes about it. And I just didn't know what it was. Yeah. Because I'm fucking retarded. You're yeah. just like, not funny. Yeah. Women aren't funny. You yeah. just don't get it. It's like, like one of the best jokes I've ever heard. <laughs> not funny. No one knows what that is. That's not a thing. I'm like, yeah, bring it. Talk about Beyblades. Like, give me something, dude. Like, you know. <clears throat> but yeah, I didn't even know that's what that was. It's just a year break. Uh, that, well, or something. They're allowed, like, as long I as they want. I wonder what they're doing, dude. Do you think they're getting They're after? going nuts. They're getting fucking blasted. Double anal. Yeah. They're getting <laughs> fucked, dude. <laughs> Double anal. They're getting double anal <laughs> straight away. There's no way you don't you don't let the dog out yeah. like that, man. You go right to. You have a, that's like a dog who's chained up, and then you go at the beach. You oh, finally yeah. let him go. He's a fuck. These yeah, they're yeah. going fucking nuts. They got some demons in them, dude. You got to let them loose. There was a <clears throat> oh, they didn't like that. I, I I did a show out in Amish country in Pennsylvania one time. Really? Yeah, and I brought up <laughs> there's Amish there. Yeah, and I brought up the fact that uh, <laughs> they hated this. <laughs> Because first of all, they go, don't make fun of the Amish, like, in the neighborhood, because th these are all normos at the show, mm -hmm. but around is the Amish. Like, at one point, I looked outside the window, and a, a carriage was, like, going, like, at oh, the yeah. traffic light, right? And they said, don't bring up the Amish, they hate that. And they go, don't bring up uh, quad bike debts. <laughs> I was like, why would I bring up that? I was like, it's a big problem. Apparently, out the, the rural Pennsylvania, a lot of teenagers die from riding quads. Oh, really? It's like, a, a, apparently, so much so that if you mention it during a stand-up show, they will, like be upset because it's like wow. a, 
it's like ripping through the community like oxy <laughs> just <laughs> bunch of fucking hillbilly <laughs> idiots just That's b- bouncing their heads off fucking yeah, it happens that often to the point where they're like oh so much so yeah yeah uh, and i brought up the fight well first of all the amish again that was just one of those things where they were like all right this is getting crazy enough of this technology new shit we're done yeah nothing after this today <clears throat> so technically they could have actually been in the 70s like it could have been someone in the 70s goes all right nothing after today so the amish could be walking around right now in bell bottoms and afros and just being like <laughs> you know it just happened to be a couple of hundred years earlier but also then i brought up the uh, the guy the mass shooter there was a mass shooter in pennsylvania in amish i, I, I didn't know it was in pennsylvania but it, it turns out it was the same amish community i go did you ever hear about that mass shooter he fucking he shot like 10 kids i go it's fucking no i go he shot like 10 people i go it's fucking that's kind of impressive when you're using a musket you know <laughs> <laughs> and they i got silence and then it turns out they tell me afterwards that what he actually did was he he went into a school he's like a teacher and he like locked the school and he held like kids hostage and he like yeah. raped them and jesus killed all it was all kids but like the news like Kind of just said it was like this random mass in murder. Amish country though. It was in Amish County, oh, yeah, man. over there in Pennsylvania somewhere. So like, I oh. I thought it was just a good old fashioned regular mass shooting. Yeah, that's fair game. You're allowed to make jokes about that. It was all kids and there was a lot of rape involved too. So yeah, kill a joke, man. Whoops, <laughs> sorry. Still funny. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. The idea of a mass shooter, like, and it was like run, and he's yeah, he's gonna musk. <laughs> it's like taking him two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> get down <laughs> he's reloading <laughs> they're like they're all like running out trying to untie the horses and shit fun time anyway so these Jews they're in Williamsburg they didn't follow any of the lockdowns yeah. they at one point the cops showed up or something they were like hey you can't have a wedding during COVID there's like a thousand people in one of these mosques or not mosques whatever a Jew building is what is it what's a Jew Tem- the temple temple yeah, yeah they're at these temples if you they, call no, I think they call them Jew buildings <laughs> the official term is Jew building. <laughs> you pull your car up. You're like, yeah, I'm looking for the Jew building. <laughs> hey, good sir. You say a Jew building? I can't do a Jewish impression. Right. But do, uh, a, do a Borat impression. Where the Jew building? <laughs> uh, but so the cops show up then, and but they're also they're all multimillionaires. Well, they're not all multimillionaires, but a lot of them are fucking wealthy as shit. So then someone was like, they were handing out fines and then someone just goes i'll pay for everyone's fine get the fuck out of the wedding so then the cops are like all right yeah wow. so like this guy was just like here's twenty thousand dollars wrote up a check or two hundred thousand dollar check he's like there get the fuck out what the fuck this is during covid they're crushing but they just discovered that those they had built underground tunnels so they they went out go to temple on sundays or whatever uh-huh. but like it's a sin not to go so these guys are like they're like fucking they're fucking they are ran. They're in heat. Yeah. <laughs> they're in Jew heat, right? <laughs> it's just a Sunday and you're not at temple. They're like, <laughs> they're like howling. Yeah. They're yeah. In the chamber, dude. Yeah. It's like when you have a dog and they next door never dog chained up to a fucking fence. He's like, <laughs> he's just ready to get out. Fuck man. Was it? Yeah. Wait, were the tunnels built before or after? During COVID, they fucking Shawshank Redemption their way under fucking Williamsburg from Damn. from the street to. I thought they would tr- have had those ready. I, yeah, maybe they wouldn't have prepared. I don't know, but they they fucking chiseled their way through these tunnels, and they all discovered they found them. Someone found. Do you know how he found them? He said he heard someone. They hear. He kept hearing people in his house. There's some guy. I don't know exactly how it happened, but some guy rang the cops, going, "I keep hearing people in my house. Something's going on. People Please. are getting into my house." And they found the the tunnels were either going through his house or under his house, and what they the went fuck? into the temple. So they they showed up yesterday with a cement mixer to fill them up at the what? tunnels because they're illegal they're underground they're, and then yeah. all the Jews are out going ah! and they're like fucking they oh, get nuts. you know it's kind of nuts because the Jews and the fucking Arabs don't get along but they're all very when the shit hits the fan they're both like, ah! like yeah. they're very fucking turkey yeah I always get confused with that shit I never there's so many like branches to it I'm just like <laughs> well the Jews and the Arabs are not branches of the <laughs> <laughs> fanatics it's just, maybe from the just same earth night, yeah. from the same earth my friend but not from, not from branches of the same three. they're all my boys dude Yeah, for me I, peace and love for all of us Christianity yeah. Hey, peace be with you. Love is love, dude. Peace be with you. Love is love. That's what I say. I always think about like... Uh, Except for the Hindus. You can talk about them. muskets, dude. I always think about fucking... Uh, you think about the Revolutionary War or some shit, dude? Imagine yeah. if they had fucking AK-47s back then. Oh, I know. Like the, the Jews, they knew something we didn't. You just take out an AK-47, dude. Well, well, you could take out a whole militia with that, dude. Yeah, well, that's kind of... That did happen in really? World War One With like what, the cannon? With machine guns. 
they they had oh, those the... they, they would wheel out the machine guns and they were able to fucking wind them like this and shoot these so all these guys were like on horseback and shit and they're like fucking you're getting fucked up yeah they didn't even die from the bullets their fucking brains exploded <laughs> <laughs> just that chin shot yeah. but i was the same but every war is like that is like yeah they, they had the tanks would show up like some like everyone was just fighting regularly with guns and next thing you know an army tank showed up and they're like what is that uh oh <laughs> you get fucked up yeah. but that's the problem with you know especially more you research all that shit with history that you start to it's one war, war is won by the geeks that invent the shit that kills you know the, yeah. like the the fucking jocks fucking, fight fucking in the war Lockheed Martin dude who? Fucking I, Lockheed Martin. Dude. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's like what a defense company. Oh, is it? They make all like the. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I know Ra- Raytheon. Is it? Yeah. Is that's another one. Those you don't fuck around with those boys, dude. No, but it's the, so that's what it is. It's the nerds discover, and most countries have won wars because their technology was just better <clears> than the other. It's got to be so sad, man. Just being out on the battlefield with like a, a dildo. You just see <laughs> yeah. like ten years. You're on boys. a horse, and you got one of those old fucking helmets with like the fucking. You know, like a military helmet, and you're yeah. on a horse gun. Wait, yeah, and next thing you know, some guy with a gun <laughs> <laughs> just blows your the fucking smithereens. Yeah. You're casting spells on people, dude. A fucking bomb yeah. drops, dude. It happened too. I, I can't. I think it was the Civil War towards the end of the Civil War. Maybe I'm wrong, but I've, certainly one of the wars where everyone used to shoot round bullets. Mm-hmm. The bullets used to be round, and you would shoot someone, and it would get lodged in their stomach, and oh, they would really? like wound them. And yeah. then someone invented like pointy bullets. And, but oh, the other fuck. team, the, the other team didn't have them, so they were shooting you, and then you just showed up, and they would go oh, straight to the guy beside you. Instead of him just getting shot and falling, <laughs> it went through his head, and he, and you would just see his brain. And you're like, ah, oh. what the fuck? <laughs> but that's like not. So then you just had hundreds of thousands of people wiped out because that yeah. team. I feel like I could be in any war. I just go to Vietnam. I feel like they just get high all the time. What? Vietnam would be your war to be in. Yeah. On America, stoned. Yeah. Yes, you think that's what all they, they call them? Yellow faces or something like that? You know, Johnny Slammy will not be out featuring for me in Connecticut. That's, that's, these are facts. <laughs> what do you call them? Yellow face? I guess. I guess. And hey, some people say some shit during war that they regret, all right? You know, it's all uh, fear and love and war, okay? Well, half those dudes died while taking a shit. Who? <laughs> they fucking American soldiers. They would go to take a shit and they wouldn't say the safe word and then fucking. They'd get shot up. <laughs> I didn't remember any of that. Really? No, oh, I thought you were talking about all the time. They would go ahead and get shit. And, oh, and then they'd have a patrol officer. <clears throat> it must be the scariest thing of all time. If you don't say the safe word when you're taking a shit, dude. There's a good chance you're going to get fucking... You make a... So someone would just forget? If you're taking a, a mean shit, someone hears it. They're I just going to start shooting. Yeah, that's right. You're like... Mm, and you go... What the, what the? <laughs> he said surrender. You fucking, they think you're speaking. You're going... Mm, 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 and he's like... Do you speak... Translator, translator. <laughs> There's a guy going. They said they they said we're surrounded, and they said come out, you dirty uh, white. We're not going. They ain't taking us today. Oh, you just hear like a fart sound. Yellow head. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. The Charlies. That's yeah. what they call them. Fucking Charlies. Really? I just watched a fucking. Uh, I was watching some documentary, and they kept saying it. I don't even get it. Why do they call them that? Charlies. No, yellow face faces. It was they called all Asians yellows, really? and then they started to get rid of that after World War Two, and it, it was like offensive, kind of. Really? Maybe it was later. I don't know exactly, but it's definitely not okay yeah. anymore. I think it was the Pacific. I was watching. You see that? I haven't started it now, but I, I'm gonna. Yeah, do like I'm ten dudes. To watching it. Like I think three individual times, dudes got killed taking a shit, <laughs> and then they get like a. Their, their son gets like this purple heart thing <laughs> sent to them like a, he died <laughs> he died doing what Vietnam he Vietnam sounds hard but like think about this right this is one of the craziest things because you gotta put yourself in a time and technology information wasn't around like the way we have it now yeah. so like yeah World War 2 you were just getting dropped on in France mm-hmm. Normandy and then you just had to like walk through a place you had no you had a map sure but you'd never been there you've no you've never mm-hmm. been outside of Kentucky mm-hmm. right and you're like just walking down some imagine Doing that now, someone just airdrops you to fucking in the asshole of Africa, and then you just gotta <laughs> find enemies. Someone drops me in the Everglades. Yeah, wherever o- they off fucking... of like a helicopter. Yeah, and then you have Bear grills. <laughs> what you're thinking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but imagine that in Vietnam, you're going through a jungle. You're yeah. like you've never seen a jungle in your life. You've never even seen a climb around like that. It's nighttime. You're scared of shit. 
and there's these little yellow monkeys who are just popping out of trees and blowing you and your friend's legs off yeah. with, with bombs made out of coconuts and shit, right? Yeah. It sounds like the scariest <clears throat> shit. If I'm in, if I'm, my girl's parents have a house where it's like, it's more quiet. Just the neighborhood is quiet. It's uh-huh. like, you know, it's kind of more of foresty kind of, but it's not, it's not isolated by any means. It's just more quiet than I'm used to in New York. And sometimes mm. late at night, if I'm like outside in the garden and you just listen, they hear just like a twig break break i'm like what the fuck i think like, i think i'm gonna get killed really? so um, well it's just yes it's <clears throat> complete darkness i just feel like i would rather because like dude everyone knows world war one world war two like that's some graphic shit man like nobody yeah. talks about it like you know you're with your boys you just get fucking blown up by a tank you know? yeah 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 you're thinking about all the memories you made you just want to if i'm in the fucking jungle in an anaconda you just want to get home and fuck your girlfriend's yeah. hairy 18 year old pussy just yeah. like your hairy wife's 18 year old pussy <laughs> <laughs> that's all i want dude i want to get home to my hairy wife's head. yeah i'd rather write those letters though in the jungle be like babe i can't wait to see that full bush when i get back and then an anaconda oh, and- fucking anaconda comes out of nowhere yeah you die malaria out. yeah yeah but imagine it's nighttime so do you ever go camping though, and you hear noises, and you go, "What camping, the fuck?" Yeah. And you're like, you get spooked. Yeah, I've heard some scary. Stuff. I've, I've no, I know. So, but imagine are... being in a, a fucking in Vietnam, and you know there's someone with a. You know what you, type of animals were out there? Where in the jungle in Vietnam? No, I they actually yeah. never heard about that. They should. They gotta make a, never a documentary research. about that. There's gotta be like the some four, crazy the, spiders out the there. The four people that got eaten by a tiger in Vietnam or something. Yeah. Well, there probably was a lot of them dying. From or malaria. even just like a tree falling on you. Imagine jerking off in a, a bunker, <laughs> fucking tree falls on you. <laughs> but the craziest shit about Vietnam to me was that everyone was stoned all the time. Imagine being stoned. <laughs> I just that's did. crazy. Well, they all, I, I think that was only when they were like in like Hanoi or whatever. No, they were stoned all the time. N- no, dude. I- no, that was only when they were during rest periods when they were trying to keep morale up and they were like, but yeah, even just the they idea were listening being... to Rolling Stones and having hot dogs and they were like, I mean, but when they were actually fighting in the jungles, they ran high. You don't think so? There, some guy goes, yeah. goes <laughs> 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 he sees his friend's head get blown up. <laughs> just some guy, dude, everyone's, yeah. just, and then you just hear a guy opening his Doritos. <laughs> Are you whacking off? You whacking off back there? <laughs> I mean, dude, that would be fucking... There had to be a few moments, though, where, like, you'd be high and, like, there was a surprise attack or something. Yeah. I, you just start shooting backwards. I, you're, you're, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're fucked up. Just, what the fuck? I think, I think you sober up immediately. I think if you're high and yeah. a bomb drops beside you, I think the adrenaline is so high that yeah. it probably would prevent PTSD, maybe. Because weed back then, you could smoke a shit ton and be fine. Weed today, if you were out there, you'd be fucked, dude. Yeah, yeah. If you had your vape with you, it's yeah. just a like guy vaping and just take, taking a dab. <laughs> <dude>. Saigon <laughs> <laughs> in the jungles, fucking yeah. I wouldn't want to. Here's the thing: now I wouldn't want to go hiking through the jungles of Vietnam now, like with someone who, who like a Sherpa with a machete. Oh, Imagine doing it with a bunch of fucking hillbillies from the <clears throat> asshole of fucking West you're just, Virginia. You're just doing like naked and afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I would, uh, I think I would do that if I had like uh, one of those dudes with like a machete. He has like all a little tribal, Sherpa guy. He has like a tribal tattoo and shit. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. He'll take on a fucking anaconda head on, dude. Yeah. Without a machete. Dude. I don't think so. I think these guys flee the second. <laughs> they're just another white guy who didn't listen to the instructor's yeah. rules apparently, but he flee. They're out of there immediately. It's like those. Yeah. It's like the shamans and when they go to South America and they're like, hey, drink this fucking. Yeah. Drink this ayahuasca, you know, and then one guy has a heart attack, so they wrap him up in a fucking carpet and dump him in a river. <laughs> like, I've never met that guy in my life. <laughs> so, so all these guys are just, they gotta be. Think about it. In Ireland, if you go to Ireland, they have family crests, you know, these like fa- old family crests. Mm-hmm. So there's this sort of, I don't know where this idea in America comes from that all these families in Ireland would have their crests. I think it's from like just medieval times type of imagery but they think yeah. in ireland you know each family has a crest and it represents your family but none of that's real I don't, like as far as i know none of that's ever <clears throat> been like common thing but americans come over and there's every shop you go into everything that was like you know i i heart new york they have that but it's like yeah. family crest so people go fucking oh delaney i'll fucking get the crest you know but that's just some guy made that up 
Yeah. Some guy just sat down and made a crest with a hammer and a snake and put it on a fucking thing. And then some guys back out on a shirt and they have a hanging over here for a hundred years in a fucking house. Yeah, everything's fake, man. So that's what's the same with these fucking Vietnamese guys. We're like, yeah, we're going to go on a trek and they pretend they're just walking around in circles and <laughs> a fake snake goes by. <laughs> He's yeah. still a classic snake. That would have been sick, though, man, to be up in a chopper listening to Fortunate Son by CCR, dude. Just, mm. dude, they would blind fire sometimes. Yeah. They'd dude. fire off into the abyss. Yeah. That'd be fucking sick. That'd be what? better than World War One or two, man. Of course, being on a chopper and, and just shooting into a jungle. What would, what, uh, what even started Vietnam? Uh, Vietnam? Wasn't it like a lie or something? Uh, it, I don't know. It, it depends on what you say, because most of Americans just... Didn't, think war because everyone with. everyone hated them when they came back right like our, the u.s soldiers i think i think it all started with the french the french occupied france but the french occupied vietnam and then didn't well, i think we were we were allies with <clears throat> i don't know north or you south. were allies with nearly every everything was running good until the japanese started fucking taking all the land during the pacific war mm-hmm. the japanese took over everything then then it was post-world war Two was divvied up something like that i don't know too much about it but it's always an ally but they were fighting for like 10 years before um before america even had to pick a side it was something to do with there was a threat of russia russia were gonna help the other side so america had to help them some weird most wars are like that where it's like if you don't do this they'll do this and then we'll do this and yeah I don't know. I th- I want to know is when. This is why I want Dave Smith on the podcast. But I want to know when the military industrial complex really began. Like, was it World War One where someone was like, or it's certainly World War Two. A lot of people realized that they made a lot of money <clears throat> because America's war machine was just insane. The production we, that people the, made because everyone stopped making cars and started making tanks and shit, and they were getting paid off the government. So then afterwards, they were just like, "Bro, we fucking made bank during that period." Oh, that's what that is. I mean, I'm retarded, dude. Yeah. So I think the military industrial, the industrial complex, complex, as far as I know, so that would be like Lockheed Martin, like big. Yes, where it benefits company. them as a company, it benefits them to obviously sell as many guns as possible, and the way you do oh, that yeah. is by being having as many wars as possible. So then yeah. that's why they say there's like influence of lobbying going, Yo, you know what? Vietnam, we're talking shit, dude. <laughs> it's yeah. Like there's just some guy going, but I can sell you some fucking guns, dude. And you then you me? just give them, you give them a little tip off of where you're gonna leave the, the weapons. Mm. But know? there's no tip off. You're just selling them directly to the government. But because the government need them for yeah, this. Yeah, but when, when we leave there, like, didn't, when, when we left at Afghanistan and shit, didn't we leave behind, like, a fuck ton of, like... Yeah, that's the problem, too, with the logistics of all this shit. is like, it's hard to get that shit back. Yeah. I just want to know how they're making it, dude. You know? <clears throat> well, all those guns are gone now. That's like kind of... Now it's just going to be robot dogs and fucking drones yeah. and shit. It sucks, man. I wouldn't mind, like, uh... You gotta think, dude, how much money they're making. Like, if you're working for a company like that, like, do you even, do you even care about, like, morality? You're just like, yeah, I'm making like, it's like the millions f- of dollars to, you know. If I had stock, like let's say I had a, a, a decent amount of stock in some of these con- companies, like the one you just man- mentioned. The other one is, I think it's called Raytheon, uh, yeah. one of the biggest arms manufacturers. I would definitely be rooting for war. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like it's the same if you have fucking stock in Nike and then you see... You know, they do some sort of Kaepernick shit and you see the stock price drop. You go, fuck. Well, dude, when I was in college, I, I was retarded, but <clears throat> I majored in finance and I did an internship. And they, uh, these, this rich family. How did you major in finance? You're such a fucking retard. I, dude, I was like retarded. You're, but yeah, but. There was a rich family and they like uh, donated a bunch of money to the school. Yeah. And they let uh, this internship that I, I did, like we managed the money. Like live stocks and shit. Dude, half of them were in defense companies. So like Lockheed Martin, yeah. like all, and they all fucking Make bank. crushed. Yeah, but the the woman who ran it was super smart, and she just fucking knew. You yeah. know what I mean? Of course they know. Like we were all retarded. She was kind of like, "Hey, invest in this." Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, she's like Nancy Pelosi. Those were like the first companies she mentioned. Yeah, war. Yeah. What year was this? <clears throat> Twenty. This would have been like 2016, 2017. I don't know. I, I think, think I th- during COVID, Lockheed Martin like popped off. Did they? I don't know. I shouldn't <laughs> say that. But if I, if we looked at the fucking <laughs> Yahoo finance chart right now, dude. Maybe. If we had a yeah. producer, dude. But they just got, maybe they'd fucking, maybe we ever thought they were going to get into fucking fighting or something. Like, <clears> they probably did. Fuck- they got to be, they're going to be, yeah. It was like they giving all the money to uh, Ukraine, you know. They, I don't, as far as I know, I, I don't think America gives money to Ukraine as aid to help them fight Russia and then goes, 
buy whatever guns you want. They go, here's money, but you're buying this company's weapons. You're not. They yeah. don't. They don't give them a cat. Like they don't go shopping. They're buying <clears throat> fucking the exact ones they get them told. It's to. even like, dude, when COVID happened, like Amazon just crushed it. Crushed everyone. I worked for Amazon during COVID. Well, you were they didn't the give a fuck. Warehouse boys? I was delivering packages. Oh, were you? I was out nice. there on the front lines. You, you <laughs> forget, did you ever see any titty? Like uh, from customers? Yeah. No, well, who else would have? I mean, maybe like one of my boys showing tits. <laughs> Just for the, <laughs> <laughs> having fun. You never saw a customer's titty? Oh, you mean like a... Like, just someone ever go, like, like grab a, a porno, like, I show up to drop off a package, and, and some woman's like, do you want to you wanna come in? And I mean, yeah, her. more like an old lady who doesn't realize her tit is hanging out the bottom of her fucking old dress. Like, yeah, her, like with old, such an old, you know, old titty where it's hanging below yeah. the shirt. Yeah. Oh, that would have been sick. Yeah. <laughs> and, you, and you just, like, put the put the package underneath? Just yeah, I was like, already living the dream, dude, just driving around, listening to classic rock, like, dropping off packages. If I, yeah. if I saw some titties, dude. Yeah, I understand. There's something therapeutic. About having the one like of the blue collar job. work, man. There's nothing like it. Maybe that driving around your truck just for stuck in traffic, getting tickets all day. Yeah, <laughs> r- real jobs, real jobs where you're fucking mixing cement in the rain. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, yeah. You're essentially just an Uber driver for fucking people's fucking. I felt like I'm better, dude. Yeah. Dude, peak season, man. That was that was something else. During like Christmas and stuff. Yeah, you gotta stay out late. Yeah, you just know? having the time of your life. <laughs> Woo, 18 an hour, baby. <laughs> Let's go nuts. Huh? That was a good Christmas. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so these Jews built the tunnels and they're co- and then they've all been kicking off. So then there's like videos of these guys like coming out of the tunnels, like little rats scurrying around. Oh, they got, got videos of them? They're not helping themselves here, folks. Yeah, they got the, videos of them coming They've got out. videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cops showed up and then they're, they're all fighting and throwing chairs at each other and shit. Oh, shit. Because they're trying to just fill up the, the fucking tunnels with... They got Jew tunnels in Brooklyn. This is a real thing. <laughs> we gotta go stake one out, man. We gotta get our own. Forget about theirs. We could just make a fake tunnel and pretend we're Jewish and sell it to like a like a reporter or something. Get like a thick check. I'll come out of the tunnel if you want. I'll hatch you. I'll curl you up. Yeah. yeah. They're like, look at this retarded Jew. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that Sasquatch <laughs> pretending to be a Jew? Did yeah. you hear about uh? One of my buddies is in like big tech and he's talking about like um like the new chat GPT stuff. You hear about that? It's for disabled people. No, let's slip let's slip up. We've we've given these pigs enough. Oh yeah. All right. If you want any more, we're gonna head off to the Patreon. Although I don't usually do this. We gotta make up for a last episode from a couple of weeks ago. So the second half of me and Johnny Salami, Doherty or whatever you said your name was. Uh, check out his podcast. Uh, check me out on the road. Columntero.com for all those dates. Patreon.com. Join the 1008. Union 1008. Only $10.08 for the year. Absolute steal. We're giving it away. And uh, leave a comment uh, about the setup. Sure. Because I'm mixing. we're mixing around. I hope the audio is not terrible. It was good vibes, man. Yeah, we're going <clears> to <throat> switch right over. We will be right back. Okay. <laughs> 